tests and some of our yeah. patients are on testosterone and they're on the GLP-1 and, you know, the, the Wagovis, et cetera, you, you can minimize it. So it'll be an interesting space. Going to watch the space in the next couple of years. There'll be some new developments. And the reason why I think so, because if you've got three or four or five companies working towards this, you know, this has been the holy grail since the early noughties well, when it was discovered. A, woman a few years ago when these type of drugs first came out and she was asking my, my advice and I'm like, I don't, I can't advise you because I, I don't really know about it, but I advised on what I could. And she definitely put on muscle mass and got stronger while she was losing body fat. I think the, especially the British media, uh, you know, it's, there's all the poppies grow at the same height and they love to you know, catch people out, right? And they say, see, these people are just trying to get an edge because they're using these Wagovi drugs and you're using these uh, Zempix. And, and, and in reality, what they're forgetting is some latest study, new study shows actually has anti-inflammatory and cardioprotective effects beyond just the weight loss. So those effects yeah. start before you start losing weight. I think that's something we should look at in a different Well, met metformin is, has also yeah. seen positives, right? Metformin, there's dapagliflozin, the gliflozins as well. These guys are all doing keto. I said, I think I've got built-in keto because dapagliflozin allows me to just piss out the sugar. So yeah. I don't think I'm absorbing many carbs, even if I eat.